to me are sweet as roses in the morning. You to me are soft as summer rain at dawn in love we share. That's something rare. The sidewalks in the street, the concrete and the clay beneath my feet begins to crumble. But love will never die because we'll see the mountains tumble. Good evening, everyone. Ed Rambo here again with My Little Corner of the World. Hoping this evening finds you well, allow me to introduce tonight's theme, which will be a two-parter. Since February is Black History Month, tonight and my next show, which will be aired on February the 17th, will both be honoring Black History Month with songs made famous by some of the world's most renowned African-American artists. And to kick us off, here's one of the greatest whose life ended in tragedy by being killed by his very own father. But nothing or no one can eradicate the music this fine artist left behind. His name is Marvin Gaye, and to honor him tonight, please enjoy my version of Mercy, Mercy Me. We appreciate all the wonderful musical gifts you left behind, Mr. Marvin Gaye, and may you continue to forever rest in peace. Another great African-American artist who left us in a similar fashion to that of Mr. Marvin Gaye was Sam Cooke. In 1964, at the young age of 33, this incredible artist referred to as the King of Soul for his distinctive vocals and high significance in popular music was shot and killed by the manager of a motel in Los Angeles. After an inquest and investigation, the courts ruled Cook's death to be a justifiable homicide, while his family has since questioned the circumstances of his death. What remains alive, and will remain alive forever, are the amount of preeminent hits this man has left behind. And here's my rendition of one of his greatest, You Send Me. You send me 
darling, you sent me, baby, you sent me, honest you do, honest you do, girl, you It was infatuation But ooh, it's lasted so long Now I find myself wanting To marry you and take you home Thank you, Mr. Sam Cooke, for not only that tune, but for so many other notable hits you gave to the world. May you and Marvin Gaye continue to rest in peace while your music lives on in our hearts and minds forever. The next remarkable African-American artist I'd like to honor this evening also had a tragic life of sorts due to her drug-abusing husband who also abused her. After divorcing him in 1978, in 1981, Tina Turner was trying to establish herself as a solo artist when she revealed the truth of her abusive marriage to Ike Turner. It was a difficult decision to speak publicly about the brutality she faced at the hands of her ex-husband, especially at a time when abuse was not openly discussed. However, after an amazing solo career, she remains alive at the age of 82 and has retired a little over a decade ago. The song I'm about to sing Proud Mary, was a cornerstone of the act's live shows with a spoken intro that Tina made up on the spot when Ike first introduced the song into the band's repertoire. 
and the high energy, intricate dance moves, high kicks, twirls and spins, deep diving and swimming motions displayed by the wigged out Tina and the iCats further cemented the review's reputation for serving up legendary must see performances. That being said, here's my version of Proud Mary. Left a good job in the city Working for the man every night and day And I never lost one minute of sleep And worrying about the things that might have been Big wheel keep on turning Proud Mary keep on burning Rolling, 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 rolling in Memphis Pumped a lot of pain down in New Orleans But I never saw the good side of the city Till I hitched a ride on a riverboat queen Big wheel keep on turning Proud Mary keep on burning Rolling Thank you, Tina Turner, for all your never-to-be-forgotten contributions to the world of music. And may I add that it was an absolute joy to meet you and spend some time with you when we both appeared together on the then-popular TV show Shindig back in the mid-60s. So thanks again for the music, Tina, and here's hoping you stay well. Moving on now to another great African-American artist who still remains alive at the age of 54, Born October 7, 1967, she's an American singer, songwriter, pianist, actress, and television personality who has sold over 70 million records worldwide and is one of the best-selling female R&B artists in history. Her name is Toni Braxton, and she has won seven Grammy Awards, nine Billboard Music Awards, seven American Music Awards, and numerous other accolades. To honor her tonight... Please enjoy my take on one of her biggest hit songs, Unbreak My Heart. Don't leave me in 
in all this pain Don't leave me out in the rain Come back and bring back my smile Come and take these tears away I need your arms to hold me now The nights are so unkind Bring back those nights when I held you beside me Unbreak my heart Say you'll love me again Undo this hurt that you caused when you walked out that door And walked out of my life Uncry these tears I cried so many nights Unbreak my heart My heart That sad word, goodbye Bring back the joy of my life Don't leave me here with these tears Come and kiss this pain away I can't forget the day you left Time is so unkind Life is so cruel without you here beside me Unbreak my heart Say you'll love me again Undo this hurt that you caused When you walked out that door And walked out of my life Uncry these tears I cried so many nights Unbreak my heart Thank you, Miss Braxton, and in reference to this woman's amazing career, from all reports, it appears this fine female artist has recently ceased all performances to focus solely on her health. So here's wishing you well, Miss Braxton, so that one day you may hopefully return to the world of music and continue to give us more of the same wonderful hits you have previously bestowed upon us. For those of you who may have just tuned in, you're listening to Ed Rambo, and this is My Little Corner of the World on MemoryLaneOldies.com. Tonight's theme, Honoring Black History Month, Part 1. But before moving on, let's bring out our old friend who is anxiously waiting in the wings. It's your friend and mine, America's favorite pussycat, Talking Tom. What's happening, little buddy? 
Eduardo and all my dedicated and devoted fans out there. Good to see you, Tom. How's the family? How's Angelina? Well, yesterday, when we had our usual nightly fight, she ended up by telling me I have two major faults. Only two? And what are they? She claims I don't listen and some other babble she was rattling on about. Oh, God. On top of that, Sheldon started complaining that I never want to take him to the zoo. I said to him, look, kid, if they want you bad enough, they'll come and get you. <laughs> While we're on the subject of Sheldon, however, two nights ago, he came home and introduced us to his new girlfriend, to which I immediately said, my God, couldn't you find anything better? Tom, what a horrible thing to say. Wasn't she offended? Why would she be offended when I was speaking to her? Jeez, Tom, I gotta tell you, you are the most miserable, cantankerous cat that has ever walked the face of this planet. Why, thank you. That's the nicest thing you ever said to me. Say goodnight, Tom. Fine, but before I go, I want to ask you something. And what's that? Have you ever considered learning how to play the flute? The flute? Why on earth would I want to play the flute? Because you can't play the flute and sing at the same time. Just get out of here. Okay, okay. Good night, everybody. See you in two weeks. But for now, you know the drill. Good night, you little rascal. And have a wonderful weekend with the family. Well, there you have it, my friends. America's favorite pussycat, Talking Tom. Returning now to tonight's theme, Honoring Black History Month, Part 1. Here's a song that celebrates two great African-American artists. It was originally recorded by Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5, and later became a huge disco hit recorded by Gloria Gaynor. It's called Never Can Say Goodbye, and here's my version. I never can say goodbye no, 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 I, I never can say goodbye Even though the pain and the heartache Seems to follow me wherever I go Though I try to hide my feelings They always seem to show Then you try to say you're leaving And I always have to say no Tell me why Is it so? I never can say goodbye No, 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 I I never can say goodbye Every time I think I've had enough to start heading for the door There's a very strange vibration That's piercing me to the core It says, turn around, you fool You know you love her more and more Tell me why Is it so? Don't wanna let you go I never can say goodbye
no, 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 no. Thanks for those two completely different versions of Never Can Say Goodbye, Mr. Michael Jackson and Miss Gloria Gaynor. Although Michael Jackson is no longer with us, Gloria Gaynor still survives at the age of 78, and both of their amazing contributions to the musical platform will never be forgotten. Another African-American artist that had a somewhat tragic life was Billie Holiday, who died on July 17, 1959, at the age of 44 due to complications from liver cirrhosis. She was notoriously known to have some drug problems, and I can distinctly recall a story Bob Crew relayed to me when he went to see Billie Holiday at Carnegie Hall. As the story goes, this amazing talent was known for wearing a gardenia in her hair, and when she was introduced and came out onto the stage, the entire audience gasped as they witnessed a stream of blood falling down her forehead. Apparently, She was so stoned on drugs to the point that when she stuck the needle into her hair to hold the gardenia in place, she was completely unaware that she had jabbed it into her scalp so deep it caused her to bleed. But despite her somewhat sad life, the great Billie Holiday, nicknamed Lady Day, known for her vocal delivery and improvisational skills, managed to give us some of the world's most incredible contributions to the world of jazz and swing. And this is only one of them, entitled, You've Changed. You've changed The sparkle in your eyes is gone Your smile is just a careless yawn You're breaking my heart You've changed You've changed Your kisses are so Damn blasé You're bored with me In every way It's all over now You've changed You've forgotten the words I love you Each memory That we shared And you ignore every star Up above you I can't believe you ever cared Yes, you have changed You're not the angel I once knew No need to tell me that we're through, baby You're breaking my heart Cause you've changed Forgotten the words I love you Each memory That we shared And you ignore Every star Up above you I can't believe You ever cared Cause baby you Have changed so drastically You're not the end Tell me that we're through It's all over now Cause you've changed 
You've changed. You've changed. Why have you changed? Thank you, Billie Holiday, and rest in peace, dear Lady Day, as your music will continue to rest in our hearts and minds long after each and every one of us is resting in peace along with you. Let's follow Billie Holiday with another incredible African-American female artist who remains alive today at the age of 81 and still continues to perform and record. This talented artist is responsible for introducing most of the hit songs composed by Burt Bacharach with lyrics by Hal David. I personally have recorded quite a few of her hits, but here's one I haven't played for you in quite a while. It's called, You'll Never Get to Heaven. Mother told me always to follow the golden rule. And she said it's really a sin to be mean and cruel. So remember if you're untrue, angels up in heaven are looking at you. And you'll never get to heaven if you break my heart. So be very not to make us part You won't get to heaven if you break my heart Oh no I can hardly wait for the day when we say I do It's a day I've dreamed of so long Now it's coming true Promise to cherish me If you break your promise The angels will see And you'll never get to heaven If you break my heart So be very careful Not to make us part You won't get to heaven If you break my heart During Black History Month, our thanks go out to Miss Dionne Warwick for the many musical gifts she gave us and hopefully will continue to give us for quite a few more years to come. So thank you, Miss Warwick, and here's hoping you stay well. Before saying goodnight, I'd like to close tonight's theme of honoring Black History Month with a song given to us by two of the world's most phenomenal female talents, Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey. As you know, Mariah is still with us, but Whitney left us on February 11, 2012, at the age of 48, with the cause of her death being ruled as an accidental drowning. The talent of both these ladies can only be considered as humongous. The song I'm about to sing was a duet from the 1998 DreamWorks musical animated feature, The Prince of Egypt. Written by Stephen Schwartz, this inspirational composition was awarded the Academy Award for Best Original Song at the 71st Annual Ceremony on March 1st, 1999. Although these two ladies are a tough act to follow, here's my attempt at singing this incredible piece of music known as When You Believe. Many nights we prayed With no proof anyone could hear in our hearts, a hopeful song we barely understood. Now we are not afraid, although we know there's much to fear. We were moving mountains long before we knew we could. Oh, yeah. 
Our sincere thanks go out to both Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston for their unparalleled talent responsible for giving us some of the most incredible pieces of music that are sure to last for many lifetimes to come. So thank you, Mariah, and rest in peace, dear Whitney. Well, my friends, it appears it's that time again, but before saying goodnight, I'd like to remind you all that my novel, From a Distant Mirror, still needs a few more reviews in order to win the contest and get published. Therefore, if you haven't read it yet, please go to inkit.com and do so. Once you reach the end, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would write a, a short review, an, an honest review. And uh, once again, it's inkit.com, spelled I-N-K-I-T-T dot com. Just type the title of my book, From a Distant Mirror, into their search box and enjoy the read for free. That being said... This is Ed Rambo, and from my little corner of the world to yours, here's wishing you an awesome remainder of your evening with our dear friend, Ron Baker. 
So without any further ado, let's return to Ron's Record Shop and good night with buckets of love, everyone. (laughs) 